We're back. We're back. Welcome to the Leader Call. Welcome to the Leadership Live, everybody who's here today. I'm standing in front of the whiteboard again. If you were at our training this past Saturday, you saw this for five hours. And thank you for being here. Thank you for checking in. On Netflix, if you, if you got a series um, that, that on Netflix and it's in its four episodes an hour long each, well, then you watch it over four days, right? Or maybe you, you, you watch twice and then twice and then twice. So take the time, but take notes. I want everybody to know everything that's on that. You want to know it and you want everyone in your team to know it. So as leaders, if you weren't there, you need to get there. You need to go watch it. You need to take notes through it. If you didn't take notes, you need to watch it again and take notes. And I think the first hour, hour is the most critical. And I think the last half hour is the most critical, but every part of it is critical or wouldn't be there. I'm just saying most critical for you as leaders uh, to know when you've got a team, if their mindset's not right and if they don't know how to deal with the, the stuff of our business, it doesn't matter what they know about our business. So that's why I say it's most critical. The first hour and then the strategy at the end is most critical. But what I want to talk about today at the leadership is you want to make sure you're plugged into that. You want to make sure you get it. You want to make sure you know all of it. You want to make sure you can repeat all of it. You want to know where, where all of it is so that when you get asked the question, you can refer. But what I want to talk about right now is the trailblazer plan to get you to revenue sharing. This is the leadership call. This is the leadership live. This is not the basic training call. So what I want to talk about is for those of you who are saying, hey, I want to win big with DAC. I want to big, win in a big way. Before I do that, we sent an email out to everyone today that with the COVID-19 going on. Funding is as usual. The only one operational change we've made is we're asking for month-to-date bank statements, okay? Tomorrow night, Wade Cordell is going to be doing a most up-to-date training. We got so much good news from our providers today, several providers. Wade is ecstatic about things. We got offers coming in, funding's going out. It's You guys are doing an amazing job. More and more clients are coming in than ever. Uh, you guys are just doing fabulous. And But tomorrow night, he's going to be doing a training at 8 p.m. Eastern, Wade Cordell, 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow about up-to-date funding information with COVID, why, why you're better off being with us than anyone else, and more details on that, and of course, live Q&A, and it'll be most up-to-date. So uh, we plan to give you real-time information if there's any recent developments or changes. There's been no changes, except it's gotten better. It's gotten better over the last four days. Not worse, better. So uh, you definitely want to be there. It doesn't mean something might change, but right now everything's saying everything is uh, the, everything's getting better and better and better, gooder and gooder, so be on tomorrow night. Let's talk about your trailblaze to revenue sharing, okay? Um, what this is all about is DAC has got the finest funding value pay plan on the planet. We allow you to make significant four to six and a half percent of all your funded value up front, Friday after funding, payment processing if they're on the edge, which is a great way for them to save a bunch of money. And if they're doing 10000 or more, that becomes a funded value bonus to you. So big upfront money and huge overrides. And we went through the comp plan on the training. Um, and then we also went through the longevity DAC portion. See, remember, DAC existed, had a great comp plan, partnered with longevity before we had more services, and they've got a great comp plan. Consumer product company, great comp plan for building a multi-level pay plan. DAC, great comp plan for, for funded value and funding. Great overrides. Build a big team if you want to. You never have to. But if you do, we're going to pay you overrides like no one else in the industry does. This came from 20 years experience building network marketing companies. We know the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the beautiful about our industry. And we put them into our pay plan. So you've got the finest, I think, the finest pay plan on the planet with DAC. And then partnering with Longevity, 20-year-old company, has got people making significant money, paying revenue sharing in the six figures, giving car allowances, perks, trips, all that stuff. And we're able to take, without diminishing this, without lowering the DAC pay plan, we're able to mirror, partner up with Longevity and stay pay residual as well, pay even more. And so now as we have payment processing and as we add uh, healthcare, things that don't necessarily fit big upfront bonuses because there isn't upfront money to pay, we can plug it right into the Longevity residual plan. So we covered both of those Saturday. And now there's requirements to qualify for that, right? So assuming 
you're going to be active because you're one of our Trailblaze leaders. Because you're going to be active running this daily recipe, minimum, minimum, then you're not only going to make great funded value and great overrides, but you're going to position yourself huge in the Longevity Pay Plan. Because you can position yourself huge in the Longevity DAC residual plan just by doing fundings. Or just by, I mean, we can add healthcare and payment processing as well. But if you, if you just did funding, you'd be qualified huge in the longevity portion of the pay plan as well because you're actively doing stuff every month as a minimum, which we're going to go through that recipe. But what I want to talk to you about is the DAC blazing. Trailblaze to revenue sharing. Trailblaze to revenue sharing in Young Jeffrey. Six figures on revenue sharing alone. Some of you aren't making six figures in your job and you got to go to it every day. Maybe today you don't get to because you got to be at home. Um, hey, you know what? You get to experience work from home. You get to experience work from home. It's actually quite fun, isn't it? To not worry about what you're putting on, to save on dry cleaning bills, to save on gasoline. You know how much you save from working from home? You know how many perks you have from working from home? Right now, you don't know what pants I'm wearing right now, whether I have pajamas on, shorts, or what am I? I happen to have pants on, but you don't know because you get to work from home. Now, and I don't know what you're wearing right now. Some of you haven't showered yet today. You don't have to, because you're working for, I'm gonna shut this in case my neighbor's in. You don't have to. And so you get to experience that. So I'm assuming you want to trailblaze to revenue sharing and get to that six figures. Even if you don't believe it yet, I'm gonna ask you to go back to what we did in the first hour and talk about your mindset versus employee mindset, what you set your mind on and believe. Sometimes we gotta twist that around a little bit. I promise you, every single person who's in revenue sharing, every single person who's in currently in revenue sharing with Longevity slash DAC residual plan, every single person who qualified for revenue sharing started just like you, with no team and not certain they could get there. But every single one of them who got there believed before they got there, far before they got there, they believed they could. So I'm asking you, if you follow, if I said to you, I don't know how to mix concrete and make concrete sidewalk. But if you did and you said, hey, come with me, bring some two by fours, I'll show you how to form it out and I'll show you how to mix the concrete. You buy a bag of concrete, it says right on it what to do. There's a recipe right on it. You just fill it, you mix it till it looks like that and then you pour it in the molded area and you rake it out and yeah, maybe it won't be as smooth as an expert but you'll have a concrete sidewalk. And I go, I'm a little intimidated. Yeah, but I got a recipe and I've done it before. Will you come do it with me? I'll show you how. Now, if you're going to show me how, and there's a recipe on the bag, and you're going to show me how to form the two-by-fours, you're going to show me how to rake that concrete, I think I can make a sidewalk. I think I can. Because you're going to show me, but I have confidence in you. My confidence comes transmitting through your, you, your uh, experiential knowledge. I don't have experiential knowledge. I just have partnership with you, and you do. Well, guess what? I have experiential knowledge in this industry. And so do many other people that you're working with right here in this company. So even if you don't necessarily think you can build the sidewalk yet, you don't know that you can run the race to revenue sharing yet, have, have some comfort in partnering with us. Partner with us. We're giving you the recipe. It's on the back of the bag. And we're going to give you the recipe. It's on the back of the bag. And we're going to teach you how to form the mold. And we're going to teach you how to smooth it out. We're going to teach you how to pull the rocks out once in a while. We're going to teach you how to plane the soil first of all. We're going to share with you what you need to do to get there. But you got to do your part. You better show up with a wheelbarrow. You better show up with a shovel. You better show up with some gloves on, ready to, you know, ready to get some concrete on your ankles. You put some old tennis shoes on because we're about to get a little dirty. If you're willing to bring your grit, if you're willing to bring your efforts, we'll bring the recipe. So let's talk about it real quick. Here's your daily recipe. If you're not doing this, you're not a trailblazer, you're not a leader, don't say you are. If you're not willing to do this, you're not a leader, you're not a trailblazer, don't say you are. Say, I'm an agent, checking this out, playing with it, participating, picking up some extra money, but you're not a trailblazer, okay? It's okay, but if you're on this leadership call, you're in the locker room. We're going to talk real. You don't get to say you're a trailblazer if you ain't blazing trails. You don't get to say you're a trailblazer if you ain't doing the daily recipe. You don't get to say you're building the concrete patio if you ain't willing to mix the ingredients. Here's the ingredients. Real simple. This is not, this is part-time. Part-time. Number one, 
You're gonna make five approaches, new approaches a day to business owners. It doesn't matter if it's funding, doesn't matter if it's healthcare, doesn't matter if it's payment processing. Pick your passion and present. Five new approaches per day minimum. This is the minimum. This is like breathing. You can't run up stairs if you don't breathe first. You can't play basketball for the Detroit Pistons if you're not breathing first. You're not a trailblazer if you're not breathing first. At least five new approaches. That's being an example. Those approaches can be text, phone call, email, or in person. Any way you want to. Five minimum approaches. They must be individualized though. You can't buy a lead program and say, send out five emails for me. That ain't being an example, okay? That's like saying, I'm gonna sit home, go practice for me. No, no, we're talking you personally communicating with five businesses, writing that email yourself. It can be the same email and change up the front a bit of it, follow what we've taught, Subject line must identify how you know them. It can't be the same for every person. That's That doesn't count. Five unique approaches. You wanna know why? You're gonna learn by doing this. Your confidence is gonna go up by doing this. Everything changes when you live this recipe, all right? It's not turning on, oh, I'm gonna pay for five Google clicks. I'm not talking about quantity of people looking at the business. I'm talking about your efforts five times a day. You're gonna become a superstar. One year from now, 365 days times five, that's 1,800, 1,810 conversations you're gonna have. They can all be emails, but you write 1,800 conversations. You send 1,800 texts, you're a superstar 90 days from now. No one can tell you this doesn't work. But if you just buy 20,000 leads, you know what I bought? I literally bought 25,000 emails this month testing something, trying to find some. I spent all that money, didn't, haven't gotten even a lead out of it. Spent a bunch of money sending out 20,000 emails in a system. We're testing things all the time for you. I've spent over 10 grand last year on Google pay-per-clicks. It don't work. I'm trying tweaking things to come up with something for you. This is the formula that works, follow it, okay? Five daily approaches, unique approaches. If you're not doing unique approaches, you're not a trailblazer, don't say you are, don't, just unsubscribe. Unsubscribe from the trailblazer list. We wanna whittle it down to those who are being an example. Number two, two to five check-ins from the people already on your list. So when you're sending out, you're keeping your list. Two to five check-ins, that just means reach them back, text them back, email them back. Right now in this time when it's a struggle, it's a good time to reach out to restaurants and, and carryouts and say, hey, is there anything? I reached out to a customer of ours yesterday. I said, hey, do you take gift cards? And they said, yeah, why? I said, you may want to consider running a special. Put it on Facebook, say special, 20% off all gift cards right now to help us with cash flow through this tight time. If you could support us for every $100 gift card we sell, we get to keep one more part-time employee for the day. Sell it for 80 bucks, give them a $100 value. They're gonna use it over time. They'll use it six months from now, nine months from now, but you bring it 80 bucks. You know what that person said to me? Dude, thanks for caring about my business. It was unsolicited email to them. That's what I mean by checking in. Think a little bit, get creative a little bit, send some ideas out a little bit, do some different things for people, right? Check in. It can just be a, hey, how are you? I'm praying for you right now in this tough time. If there's anything I can do to help refer your business, what can I do? You got a flyer you want me to post? You got an email you want me to share? You got a Facebook post you want me to put up? What can I do to help promote your business more? Little check-ins. Hey, just sorry, I got a call. Hey, just checking back in to see if maybe you might, all right? So those are the type of things you can do. Check-ins, minimum, and then any clients, it's not written here, but of course it goes without saying, if you got any clients in the process of getting funded or process of getting healthcare or process of getting payment processing, anything you need to help them go from prospect to signed up. So if they've already submitted their application and, and they're not answering their emails, picking up the phone and saying, hey, you know, I see my status update, you don't say that, but you see in your status update, they're left voicemail, left voicemail, left voicemail. Pick up the phone and call them and say, hey, I know we've been reaching out. So that's there. Part two, daily recruits. Well, I don't know if I want to recruit. Zip off the trailblazer list then. No problem. Trailblazers are blazing trails and growing our team. Trailblazers are taking advantage of the compensation plan that's all about the team. If you just want to serve clients, you get to. That's not a trailblazer. That's a ma- you, you can become a master superstar agent referring the services to people and make great money. You make great money. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not belittling that. That's a company we started for people like that. But the second portion of our pay plan was designed the overrides and our business model of growth, which has beaten every one of our industry's butt right now, which we're kicking everyone in our industry's butt right now because they got telemarketing rooms. They're spending money on ads. They're spending money on telemarketers. And they're, they're, they're not having the success like they were two months ago. 
We're not doing that, and our providers love us. Some of our providers aren't even using those companies anymore because they're getting a bunch of stuff that isn't qualified. We've got an underwriting team that looks at a deal before we send it to a provider. You know how many times Wade and his team get packages and never send it to anyone? A lot, because they don't meet the criteria. But the client says they do till they send them. The telemarketers of the world are sending crap into these providers. We're not. We're doing it right. So daily recruits, you gotta recruit one new person a day, okay? It can be an email, it can be a phone call, it doesn't matter. Hey, just reaching out, uh, wondering if you might be interested in making money outside of what you're doing. Or hey, just re the leadership stuff we talked about over the weekend. The, I'm approaching leaders. I'm approaching leaders. But last week I recruited three agents. Um, none of those three did I recruit or personally reach out to. But I'm posting on my Facebook and all that. But I don't count that as my approach. The, the people signing up just passively, those don't count. It doesn't matter how many you sign up. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a daily activity recipe that you are going to purposely send out a text, an email, or something. Some of you haven't done this. I've not done this every day, but I'm stepping up to do it every day. I'm committing to doing this as like breathing. I will do this every day as well. Follow up with anyone currently in the process of, of they've already joined and you want to get them onboarded right. And so onboard your people right. Follow up to onboard them correctly like we talked about in the training. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the training. Taproot and invite through leadership. That means you're meeting all the new people that are starting in your team. You're taprooting down through and you're inviting anyone. Hey, we're looking for leaders. We're looking for leaders. You're interested in helping us lead and develop teams. You're interested in, nope, 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 nope. Yes, yeah, I want to lead and develop teams. I can become a leader and help lead and develop teams. Yeah, what does that mean? And invite them to the leadership funnel, which is uh, plug them into the Trailblazer team. All right, and get them on this call. And there's gonna be a Trailblazer call that'll be separate from this. It's coming, believe me, I wish it was already live, but don't worry, there's a lot moving on, a lot of moving parts. Uh, it'll be coming soon. For now, this is it. We're doing it here now. I'm talking now as if this was a Trailblazer call. All right, and then you're gonna do weekly goals and review with those leaders. You're gonna do weekly team leads, just like we talked about on the responsibilities of team leader, responsibilities of, here it is, where it is, right here. Responsibilities of Trailblazer, small group responsibilities. One of them says, uh, you commit to learn to promote DAC system tools. You help team grow old chap route through solid agent base. You assure proper agent onboarding. There it is, right there. You do game plans with everyone in your team. You, you, you set up a weekly team meeting call and leadership group with them, right? So you go through a leadership thing with them. It's all documented. You got it if you're on the Trailblazer list. You already got the email. Hopefully you're living it, not just reading it. Live it, don't just read it. All right, so. With that, let's talk revenue sharing will be done. It's simple. Is this simple? You, some of you are going, Dave, you could have just said da, 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 da. Yeah, I could, but I'm still establishing the attitude of a new group. I'm still setting the kind of the culture. When you're not with people every day, the culture, culture is two things. Number one, who you are, but it's also what you won't tolerate. And so sometimes you have to talk about what you're not going to tolerate longer than what it takes. This is all it takes. That's it, part one. You do this and you follow the DAC way with the DAC servant mentality, I'm telling you, you're going to do more fundings than you could ever imagine. You're going to have more healthcare clients than you could ever imagine. You're going to have more teammates than you could ever imagine. You're going to make more money on overrides than you could ever imagine. You just got to stay active. You just got to stay active. And you got to do it with the right attitude. And if you do this simple, simple recipe, now you don't have to stop there. You don't have to stop at five. But if you do 15 today, that doesn't mean tomorrow you get to take the day off. You don't get to. You don't get to, eat. David Rutz ate real well for four months and went, my weight went down here, my blood pressure went down, all this. And then I ate real well every other day or every four days I ate real well, but the other three days I didn't and my weight just kind of went right back up. You go watch my videos from a year ago, I look like a different person. A year before that, I looked like even a different person, I'm much bigger than I am now. But you don't get to stay inconsistent. So I'm, I'm fighting on staying every day, I gotta do the basics. Right? So what do you got to do? You got to do your basics every day. Every day you got to stay consistent doing the recipe. Now here's how quickly it is to get revenue sharing. This is how simple it is. It's how simple it is. It really is this easy. Don't tolerate people wasting your time. Don't invest time into people who aren't going to do the thing. You, we've got group training for all them. So we've got cloud-based support for everybody who's kind of just playing with it. That's what I do. And you can too, you can have group calls and anyone can plug in who wants to plug in in your group. But where you're investing your private time, your personal half hour of time game planner, 30 minutes there, or hour there, private one-on-one -on -one phone calls, you only get that half hour back when you die, it's gone. 
It's gone. When do you get it back? You don't. So don't give your time. Take your time away from your family, from your freedom, from your leisure, from your luxury time, from whatever that is, your flexibility. Don't give that to someone who's not committed. But if they are committed, invest it into them. Because investing time into the right people will multiply. And they'll become trailblazers themselves. So this is the thing. You run this recipe, and over time, you're going to have 10 to 12 teammates who say they want to be leaders like you. And they're actively running the recipe. I don't know how long it's going to take you. It depends on your attitude yourself. It depends on how strongly you believe in this. It depends on what belief level you have as you go out and approach. It depends on the words you're using when you approach. If you're afraid to talk bigness, you're not going to recruit people who want to build bigness. But if you talk bigness... You're going to find people who want to build a big group too, who want to help make a big impact as well. You're not going to turn me on with helping one business owner. That, for me and that one business owner matters. But what's going to get me out of bed is thinking, how do we get to a million business owners affected by DAC? And if you don't offer that to me, I'm not inspired. But as soon as you offer it to me, I'm in, put me in, let's go. So watch what you're offering. Watch what you're attracting. You know, just the other day, I'm looking over here. There's a little lure I'm going to go get it and show you this. Outside my office, there's a lake, a little pond actually, but people fish there all the time. And this was laying on the bench. This little lure, I don't know if you can tell, but this thing's dinky. There's my finger, a dinky little thing. Now, this little lure is really neat. I brought it in, I put it on my, I got a wood flag over here, I'm just hanging from it. Why did I save this little lure? Because this is a perfect size lure for that little pond. Why? Because the fish are all this big in there. Once in a while there's a big one, but this is good enough for most of the fish that are in there. The lures I have in my tackle box are for big northern pike. I'm not going to catch, I mean, there's some big pike in there, but the reality is there's a lot of little fish that this is perfect bait for. What am I going fishing for out there? A giant monster fish in a little pond? Or am I fishing just for fun to catch it? What are you fishing for when you recruit? A leader, trailblazer, or just a little, I'm not comfortable talking leadership, so I'm just going to talk make a little bit of extra money okay you get to do that there's nothing wrong with that but i would encourage you leaders we're looking for leaders who want to build a team of leaders okay so i encourage you to put the words into your conversation we're looking for people who want to help us lead and develop a team of impact creating agents if you're not saying that you're not going to find many of them fortunately i say it a lot but you want to say it because you'll, that turns people on who otherwise go, nah, I'm good. Because I'm not looking to make a little extra money. If you approach me about an opportunity to make a little extra money, I'm not interested. But if you call me and say, Dave, we got a way to make a massive impact all across the country with a new service, I'm interested in hearing what that new service might be. Because it can make a massive impact all over the country. I'm turned on by making a massive impact, not a make a little extra money. I can make a little extra money selling Xerox copy machines. I'm not going to make a massive impact, so I'm not interested right so what do you offer so you're gonna over time live this recipe with the right ingredients you're gonna have 10 to 12 people who are living the ingredients I don't know you may do it in a month it may it doesn't have to be 10 to 12 personal it's 10 to 12 in your group by doing so spread over three legs you need at least three legs three legs going for this when doing so first of all you're gonna be doing more than 50 100 QV points in the DAC longevity plan. So you're gonna become what they call one star. We're just calling it trailblazing. Trailblazers, you'll get a $300 car allowance. You'll be making about five grand a month. Okay, how long is it gonna get there? I don't know, it may take a year, may never get there, may be there this month. I don't know. This doesn't count your personal commissions. This does not count your personal commissions from doing the work. This is your override commissions on your 10 to 12 people. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you go until you have three trailblazers yourself, three. Different legs, three different legs of people who've got a trailblazer. Means they've done what you did in step one. That's it. You got three. See how this duplicate cookie cutter did do? You got three like you now. You did it, now you got three like you. Three of your 10 to 12 are doing it. What happens there? You're getting a $600 car allowance now. You're getting paid on a lot more levels in your DAC team. You're not only making the 5K, but you're probably more about 10 to 15K now. It's about between three and five K per trailblazer. Okay? So you're probably making 10 to 15 K plus your personal commissions and a $600 car allowance. I just like throwing that in because people are moved by car allowances, even though you're making a lot more in your business. Then the next thing is go to five. You take your three and turn it into five. 
Well, Dave, I don't know if I want to recruit five people. No problem. You'll never have revenue sharing. I don't. If you're okay with that, I'm okay with it. But if you keep doing this, you're going to have a lot more than nine eventually. In the end, you're going to see all we ask you to do is get to nine, wide, nine legs with a trailblazer somewhere in there. If you're doing this every day, you're going to have a lot more than nine. Okay? Eventually. So three, and then turn it into five. Now, it doesn't have to be the people you personally enrolled. We say taproot. Taproot. Because if you recruit me... And I recruit Lisa, and Lisa recruits Bill, Bob, and Michael, and Michael recruits Tina, Tiffany, and Jessica, and Jessica goes out and becomes the trailblazer, that's one of your legs. It doesn't matter. You just need a leg somewhere under me because you recruited me. I'm a new leg now. I'm a new branch, new offshoot. How many, is there one trailblazer in there who's getting after it? Okay, you got one. And you recruit another leg, another one of your people you recruited. And they go, 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 and they got one. Somewhere in our group. There may be four. You get to count it as one. You need nine, three separate legs, five separate legs, then six separate legs. You'll be getting a $1,000 car allowance, and you'll be making about 20 grand a month, 15 grand a month, 10 grand a month, 12, 14, five, plus personal commissions. And then when you got nine different legs, and you're going to have nine because you're going to keep doing this. You never stop doing this. We're talking about sending an email to someone, picking up your phone and sending a text, hey, just reaching out to you. I was thinking about you the other day. We got a great business. We're really booming, exploding. We're looking for more leader types who want to help us make an impact, a massive impact. You interested in making some serious money outside of what you're doing? Yeah, you're done. 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 Who? It doesn't matter who. Send it. It doesn't matter who. Do it. Well, I don't want to stop at one. Then don't. Keep going. You find a business card, you meet someone at Starbucks in the line, you say, you know, you're sharp. You're real personable with people. Let me ask you something. We're growing all over the country. We're exploding right now. We're making a massive impact, but we're looking for more leaders to help us lead and develop agents who can make a massive impact helping business owners. You interested in making some serious money outside of what you're doing? Dude, no. Okay, done. You did it. Yeah, I am. What? I, give me your text. I'm going to text you a website. My link, it's got a video, it's going to tell you about it. But we're making a massive impact helping business owners with funding and with savings on health care and other services. But we're helping people with business capital and savings. Unbelievable. We're making a massive impact. We want every small business in North America to know about us. And we're looking for leaders to help us build agent teams in many markets all over the country. You can override all the, the, the funding and savings. that we've. Oh, you can override all of it by helping us to grow it. You interested in learning more? Yeah, I'll send you a website. Check it out. When you like it, we'll go to the next level. If not, no problem. Done for the day. Now, the mindset right now of the business owners going, this is simple. The mindset of the employees, yeah, but what if they say they're going to do it and they don't? But yeah, but what if, they, they, what if they're bothered by you? Oh, I can't say that to people. I don't want to say that to people. You need to switch your comfort level right now, like we said in the video. Number one, if you don't offer this, they don't have a way. Who else is giving them an opportunity where they can get 10 grand a month in revenue, I mean, a revenue sharing, 100 grand a year in revenue sharing? Unless they start a company, it don't exist, except here. Where else can they go to get to a point where they can make five grand in residual revenue this month, next month? Where else can they go? Can they make, make, make a massive impact by helping people? So if you don't offer it, you don't know where they're going. You don't know what wall they're about to run into. You don't know. My brother-in-law just became an agent in our business because he's a one of the top car salespersons at his dealership. But his dealership might be closing today. And out of need, he became an agent. He didn't want to become an agent before. He, out of need, he became, he might be watching right now, I don't know. But out of need, he signed up without ever calling me. He just signed up. I got an email. You've got a new agent. And I reached out to him today. I said, was that you? He said, yeah. And why is he doing it? Because he may need it. Get the word out to everybody. And don't worry. They get to say no, but they need to know. If you don't help them to know that we exist, either for funding, for healthcare savings, or payment processing, or you don't get to get them to know that we have an agent opportunity, why would you withhold that gift to yourself? Why would you withhold that capital to yourself, that big savings 
on payment processing yourself, that huge savings and protection on healthcare to yourself. Why would you keep that to yourself? And why would you keep an opportunity that you're, you like, and we're talking about people are people watching this right now are gonna get to 100 grand a month. They're going to. There's people watching this right now who are gonna get to revenue sharing, make 100 grand a year just in revenue sharing, not counting their team. And you may be one of them. But if you have a selfish, it's all my opportunity, who told you about it? Aren't you glad they did? Why would you re refrain that from others? You, you don't get to. You got to do this. Otherwise, you're just not being a good person. You're not. You're not being a good person if you keep it to yourself. Because there's people in desperate need out there, have the desire and the urgency who want it. But if you keep it to yourself, what kind of person are you being? So the business owner mindset is, I must offer these benefits to people. The employee mindset says, I don't want to bother anybody. Don't be an employee mindset. Be a business owner mindset and make a difference in the world. Be out here to make a difference. And those who know about it but aren't interested are okay with me. Those who don't know about it, that's my fault. They can know about it and not be interested, but they need to know about it. And once you have nine legs with a trailblazer in it somewhere, they're doing 54, and you've got that, you need 500K in total volume as well, which you'll have with your nine legs, I believe. There's a, I guess there's a chance you couldn't, but you need 500K in QV per month for a certain amount of time, and bam, you're getting revenue sharing. Every single month, you get to share in the revenue. And Jeffy's doing, what, almost 200 million a year in sales? You get a piece of that. I think the minimum is about 10 grand a month right now. Maybe I'm wrong, but just some people maybe make a little bit less. But there's people making 30, 40 grand in revenue sharing every month. So when I say 100 grand, you may get in revenue sharing and be making 250,000 a year. I said 100 grand a month, I meant 100 grand a year, or 40 grand, a, 40 grand a month. So 40 grand a month, there's people making revenue sharing. You may get in revenue sharing and make 300,000 extra a year. We're talking NFL athlete money after they retire. NFL athletes get paid three million for four years and injury and are done, and now what? Hopefully they can be a great sportscaster. Let's go build this, leaders. Here's your recipe. There's your recipe. Do this. Do this. Invite your team by tap rooting. Get them into leadership. And once you have 10 to 12 who have said they want to be leaders, you got other people as well. You got 10 to 12 being leaders running this recipe. You're going to eventually have, you're eventually going to have 10 to 12 of them getting after. You're going to be doing 5,400 QB. You're going to get the car allowance. You'll be making about five grand a month plus your overrides. I mean, I'm sorry, in overrides. Plus you'll be making your own personal commissions on these. And then once you have three legs of a trailblazer, 600 car, you'll be making 10 to 15 grand a month. Five legs, 800 car, and 15 to 20 grand a month. Six legs, $1,000 car, and you know 18 to 24 a month. Nine legs, $1,500 car, eventually 500 revenue sharing. You'll be making about 40,000 a month here, plus revenue sharing, you're over 50,000 a month. But you gotta live this recipe. Or, you can go fishing for bluegills. We're okay either way. You don't have to have the same desire to make a massive impact we do. You don't have to. But if you're gonna call yourself a trailblazer and you're gonna get on these leadership calls, then, then you're going to. Let's see what questions you got. Let's see what questions you got. I'm scrolling up quick. Uh, I'll probably start doing these on Zoom because I'd rather talk to all you guys and read these things all day long. That Zoom was fun, I liked that. As much as I didn't know where I was, and Pamela Schwartz, thank you for getting on and helping. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it, buddy. Hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings from Chi-Town. Love it, Cheryl. Thank you, Don. Tony, how are you? LOL. I'm scrolling through. I'm getting there, getting there, getting there. Hey, guys, I'd set an alarm. You heard my alarm ringing. I'd set an alarm for 5 to 1 and be honest when it starts at 1 o'clock. Again, we're stepping it up a little bit. The responsibility is yours. You're a volunteer army, right? Trailblazers are goers. They're doers. They're makers. They're movers. They're shakers. That's right. Bills. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Little fish can, hey, you know what? It's a great point, uh, Matt. 
If you introduce someone who's not saying they want to be a leader, remember the example I gave you, introduce David, David introduced Tina, Lisa, and Kathy, and, or Mark, it doesn't matter, and they introduce and they introduce, it doesn't matter, they can lead to a leader. So you can stumble your way on it, but I'd say don't, start talking leadership, start talking, if you're uncomfortable, then lean on me. I'm working with a company where the founder is just all about making a massive impact. And they want to be the largest provider of business capital in the country. And we're looking for some leaders to help us lead local cities. Are you interested in learning more? Take what I just said, write it down, script it out, whatever you got to do, rewind and play this over and over, write it down and start saying it. Start saying it. Well, David, I don't know. Just say it. Just say it. Well, I don't know if I want to mix the concrete that way. Tough. Mix it that way. If you want a good sidewalk, I've been building a lot of sidewalks. Just trust me. This is what it takes to find the right people. I don't want to say that. Okay. You may not find the right people. I'm trying to eliminate waste. I'm trying to eliminate buckets of concrete we got to throw away. I'm trying to eliminate two by four frames that you're building that we just got to pick up and pitch because the concrete didn't set right. I'm trying to eliminate all the experiences that I've had that I don't want you to have to experience. So if you judge what I'm saying, I'm going to challenge you, don't. Follow it, watch it work. There's people I know making five grand a month in this industry who just completely disagree with what I just said and they'll never make more than five. They just, they're hoping and all they're doing is re replacing what they're losing. They're replacing by they're recruiting what they're losing. They're not duplicating anyone. They're not attracting any leaders and they're just replacing what they're losing. And that's a shame. Now they get a great lifestyle. They work from home, but they keep believing they're going to go from 5 to 15 and 15 to 40. And I don't see that happening until they do the things that the people who are making that kind of money are doing. Yes, you are, Cheryl. It is selfish. You're right. I don't see a post in our group announcing enroller bonus promotion extension. I'm sure. Thank you, Ellen. Yeah. If you're on the training, you got a heads up. We haven't posted about it yet, but thank you for mentioning that. Uh, I did do a video on it yesterday. March mania. Uh, any person enrolled people that you recruit in March, you're now permanently locked in on. You guys probably don't need that, but you're permanently locked in on your first six months requirement is is not there. So if you recruit me tomorrow and you've never gotten a customer, you're still going to get that half percent enroller bonus if I get a client. Okay. We've extended till March 31. Anyone you recruit by March 31. Thank you for mentioning that, Ellen. That's what I love about leaders who help me remember things that uh, because they were on trainings, they knew about it. LA fired up. Beautiful, Jamar. Thank you, Benjamin. Glad you liked it. Ralph, love you, man. Multiplication is a key, Mary. You're right on. And you know what creates multiplication? Simple systems and leaders are the X. Leaders are the X factor, all right? If you don't have leaders, three just adds three. Leaders, boom, three multiplies into nine. And those nine multiply into 27. Non-leaders, three plus three, but you lose these three, so you still just have three. And they add three more, but these three quit, so you just have three. And these three, when you don't have a system and you don't have an attitude of a leader, you don't get multiplication. You get addition and subtraction, and in the end, you don't get much uh, exponential growth. If you've been in a company that offers an exponential growth pay plan, but you haven't had exponential growth, I'll say this. You haven't been using the system, or you haven't been being the leader that the system requires and you haven't recruited any leaders that the system requires. You need leadership attitude and a leadership willingness, and you need activity, and you need the right system. And when you do, it always works. I can apply this. You can put me in any network marketing company tomorrow. I don't care what the product is, if I can believe in it, and it will work. The system works. Every, it, it's never not worked. Never not worked. What doesn't work is people doing it or being it, and then it doesn't work for them. But they're not using it. It's like me not following the directions on the back of the concrete and saying, it doesn't turn into cement. It's super. This is so simple. I set my phone. It may not be comfortable at first, but that's where you got to change your mindset so it gets comfortable. you got to look at what not doing it is doing to the world. 
I set my phone alarm for 10 minutes prior to all of our training events so that I can wrap up what I'm doing. Great point, great leadership idea. If you have a paid Zoom subscription, you can link the Zoom in the Facebook group. Yeah, I've seen people do that, and I'll probably do it. I do have a paid subscription, and I'll probably figure out how to do that, but I haven't yet, but thanks for that. I appreciate that, buddy. Bob, I'm glad you're excited, my friend. So am I. That's Plankton. Yeah, Plankton. That's funny. Jeremy, okay, you're tagging people. Great job, Sharice. I get an email from another lending program that charges $300 for training that we can get here for free. I'm going to challenge you, Jamar. I promise you that company ain't giving our training. Promise you. Because they don't have the experience. They don't have the experience. This is not a boastful thing. It's not just my experience. It's the whole experience of all the people that are entitled. You look at what Wade Cordell's done and his experience that he's given every Tuesday night. And our experience in duplicating teams. And all the leaders watching this right now have had a lot of success duplicating teams. We've got people who just joined us recently making 100 grand a month in this industry and they're on fire to do DAC because they know what they can make here instead of what they're making where they are. I mean, this, this isn't no joke. So someone who's trying to bottom feed, trying to prey on our people, trying to come over here and, and, and do it, you know, talk to our people about their group and all that. All I can say is I wish them all well. I don't want anyone to have, you know, hardship. Um, but we're not turning the other cheek. We're not turning the other cheek. You're trying to get our quarterback. You're trying to sack our quarterback. I'm going to take you out. You're not getting to her or to him. They're dropping back the pass and I'm blocking for them, you're going to get taken out. You're not getting through. As an example, Eugene Clapp is four levels deep for me and Bobby Goodman. Is, that's right. There's leaders on your team down deep. We are uniquely positioned to uniquely affect at this difficult moment, obligated to get out there on the phone. No doubt about it. I was saying that they aren't as good as DAC... No doubt, Jamar. I know, I know you weren't saying that. I, 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 maybe I didn't make myself clear when I shared this. I know you're not saying that, um, but they'll say that. But they'll, they'll act like they're bringing the same level of experience. There's a guy who does a do-it-yourself do channel. I love watching his trainings because, man, you can tell he's done it so long that all the little sentences he adds to his how to build this or how to put tile up on the wall or how to – he's got every little thing, like something simple like, hey, when you're rubbing the grout next to the edge of the tile line there with wet fingers – if you don't, if you're not careful, you're going to cut your hand on the end of the tile because the tile's sharp. Now that's someone who's been doing it a while. Not just you put this up here, then you put the grout on and wipe it off. There's a difference in depth. We've got a depth of understanding and we're here to help you win. I have a new team members that are jumping from other companies because they're no longer funding deals. Yeah, I know. There's, you're going to hear about this tomorrow night. But leaders, just so you know, uh, we've got a lot of providers our, comp our competitors, a lot of them were phone rooms, shut down. A lot of them were um, uh, Google pay-per-click ads, shut down. Because there was a such a slim margin of profit on those that they had to get X amount. If you own a phone room and you're just making calls, you got to pay for offices and phone systems and telemarketers and commissions and draws and all that. You need a certain amount of funding at a certain qualification. It needs to be a certain this. And there's so much unknown right now, they're not able to make that margin anymore. They're shutting down. Boom. And so their people are joining us because that's not our model. We're not given any guaranteed pay, but we're still here given opportunity, aren't we? And so those companies are here today, gone tomorrow. Not us. We're profitable. We've been profitable. We'll be profitable this month. We've got a model that is built for, we've, gone, we've owned companies that did this. Right? And so you got to build for that because you as agents are depending on us to be here. Right? And you can count on us to be here. Not only that, our providers love us. Our providers love our model. Because we're still here getting clients. And the other people who are providing them deals are gone. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Not us. We're here. All right. You guys are the ones who make this company. Without you, we don't exist, right? Without us, you don't have an opportunity like this. So it's us forming as a team. I may be the quarterback right now. You may be the quarterback tomorrow. All right? And I may be, uh, the, you know, the, the tight end blocking. Or you might be the wide receiver catching the touchdown passes right now. And I may just be, you know, sitting on the sidelines having to cheer you on right now. We're all play our part. But the bottom line is you got to get after it. Live the ingredients. 
build the plan. Revenue sharing will be yours. That's what we're going for. God bless you all. This is officially over.